Why does the high average cost of non-emergency medical transportation provide a unique opportunity for new business startups? There is tremendous opportunity for people who aspire to start their own business in the non-emergency medical transportation sector. As the population ages, more and more people need these services to go shopping, visit friends, attend medical appointments etc. Elderly and disabled people are the target customers for this sector. The base rate for picking up and dropping off a wheelchair-bound person can average more than $45 per hour on weekdays and $75 per hour on weekends. Similarly transporting a person on a stretcher can cost $100 to $200 per hour. People in urban areas have a lot of options to choose from. However, it's the people in suburban and rural areas living away from treatment centers that need this kind of service the most. Seniors and people with disabilities either temporary or permanent are not able to travel in taxis, buses or railways. They need a special type of transportation to transport them as well as their medical equipment like stretchers, wheelchairs, walkers, portable oxygen supply etc. They neither have an emergency situation nor they are normal passengers. This gap is filled by non-emergency medical transportation service providers. Most of the time this service is provided by wheelchair lift equipped vans that are limited to transporting just wheelchair passengers in a single trip. However, many providers use shuttle buses that are equipped with wheelchair lifts and are being used for non-emergency transportation. Major Vehicle Exchange is a used bus and wheelchair van dealership that has been selling its wheelchair equipped vehicles to transportation companies across the United States for more than three decades. For more information visit Major Vehicle Exchange at www.getanybus.com and call the owner Charles Kaufman at 516-333-7483 today.